Hey, this is Dave. We're here at Allen and Steve's Les Conf with the kickoff this morning. Uh, super interesting program. Chris from GitHub just came off stage. And this afternoon, Cameron Mall from Authentic Jobs is going to take the stage. Uh, sounds like you're the resident designer professional guy in the house. So. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to bring some of that to this conference, right? We've got to break things up a bit. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, uh, you're a designer by trade, so you're kind of here talking about uh, how to be a great designer and is it what it takes? This presentation, the way I've tried to structure presentations like this is to help people understand some of the principles. You know, we're talking like a half dozen principles at best. Within an hour, that's about all the time I have. And uh, these, these span everything from inspiration to visual hierarchy. Um, some of the things that I've really found to be the more important things out there because as a designer, as a coder, whatever you might be, there's all kinds of things you can specialize in and, and all different kinds of, of knowledge and, and whatnot. Um, I've tried to really narrow that down to you know, a half dozen or so things that people can understand and, and practice and, and apply in their, in their positions wherever they work. And do you typically think about designers as kind of people who work on stuff full time and a, the professional like a creative director and an agency right. type or are you more kind of focused on the, the person who like I know in a lot of our startups, we'll have somebody in. I've got a core network of people that you know used to do Coke stuff. Right. And I've got guys who are killer at organic stuff. And then I've got production designers who can just spit HTML-ready stuff out and know how to crop images and just knock it all out. I would think you're more on that kind of creative, inspirational side. Yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, all of us are really problem solvers, right? Whether you're a coder, a back-end guy, a designer, whatever, what have you, we're all working on the same problems. We're trying to get things done. We're trying to produce um, satisfactory user experiences for people. And I think problem solving is a language that all of us can understand. and so. I guess when I talk to, to designers in a crowd like this, even if it's a bit tech heavy, I think the principles still work because again, we're all thinking about ways to solve problems. We're all thinking about uh, where do I find inspiration and ideas for, for executing those uh, solutions and things like that. And so I think, I hope, we'll find out, but I hope it you know, is diverse enough that it applies to, to any kind of person. Yeah. You know, when you do, let me just say, when you do, a content like that where it tries to be everything for everybody, it, it usually flops on its face and, and I'm not attempting to do that, but I do think there are principles that, like problem solving, we get it, you know, it's something we got to work on. That sometimes creativity is a numbers game and so if I can push myself through enough bad ideas, um, eventually some good stuff is going to come out. We could probably do this whole session on great versus bad design, where I talk about all the horrible stuff I've produced. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that would demonstrate that I'm really no different than, than anyone else. Maybe I've just had the tenacity to work through it, and I've gotten to that 21st idea instead of stopping at the 20th before that burst of creativity happened. Well, Cameron Moles, um stuff about like where, you, where he finds inspiration and how he sort of talked about his journey from being like sort of um, where he has it, it's sort of design process is like really, really inspirational. Um, additionally, like he's like really humbling and sort of like modest about sort of his abilities and the way he talks about stuff. And so that's something I always like really appreciate and admire it and like really, really great designers. I think the best thing so far has been Cameron Mall's talk. It's so <laughs> awesome to hear somebody who is articulate and really understands the, you know, just design in general and, and the creative process. That's, that's just great. A lot of people have probably spoken about Cameron. Uh, uh, he's uh, he's kind of a one of the new school, really iconic designers out there who's got a lot of really uh, you know ten dollar uh, tidbits. Uh, and uh, his commentary on uh, finding inspiration, influence was really really kind of spoke uh, and hit home for me. I thought all the speakers were great. My they were all excellent. My favorite so far is Cameron Mull. I think his design stuff was excellent, spot on. He was great, I agree. And you guys have actually, in addition to coming around and talking to folks about being a designer, you guys have a site called Authentic Jobs right. that's actually a kind of a marketplace for design jobs. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so that started as kind of a, a favor on my own blog about five years ago. I had companies coming to me saying, Cameron, do you know a guy that can do this? We're hiring at Apple or wherever. And I'd usually say yes, but they're all busy, or no, I don't, but I'll, I'll just throw something on my side and, and see what comes of it. 
and I got enough of those requests that eventually I had these, these, um, these requests from employers coming in. I was kind of manually doing this in movable type and it was just a mess. <laughs> I invested a couple thousand dollars in having a back-end built to automate it and, and as they say the rest is kind of history and I think we remained focused on, on creative web and design jobs. Uh, we didn't try to be a monster.com and we really got serious about connecting people to or I guess connecting employers and designers, developers, what have you together. That's our primary focus. We've got a, a money back guarantee. You know, if people don't find each other, we're happy to refund their money. We really don't want their money if people aren't finding each other. And so I think that passion has driven what the site has become. And, and it turns five this September. And I'm blown away. This was, you know, this was just started as kind of a favor on my side. And here it's a full grown business that now provides most of my income. So I didn't expect that, but it's been a pleasant surprise. That's great. Well, I think uh, the folks in here will get a good kick out of uh, someone talking about other than code repositories yeah. and things like that. So. so, great. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Dave.